All right, hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back for another... That's what I'm talking about, dude. Fixing the problem. That's me. All right. Hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back. Uh, brand new video for you guys today. That's right, man. I got something kind of different for you guys than I'm normally not really doing too much. But I got a little piece of thing that like maybe some of you guys don't know about. And uh, let me just show you exactly what I'm going to what, what you're going to get here in just a hot second. So check this out. Yeah. Look, look at th look at this, dude. I'm in my logo. Wait, will it work here? Oh, yeah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Now, this isn't the aspect that I'm showing you, but at least you get a little idea of what's actually happening here. Uh, let me take it on back. Let me walk you through what we're actually doing here today. We're, we're basically creating this mask. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be creating a mask. And so those of you guys that have wanted to make uh, your, your streams look a little bit different than other people's channels, uh, this is one way to do it. And it's really cool. And it's really simple and easy to implement. Let me show you exactly what we're going to do right now over here on my desktop i'm gonna just gonna open up an instance of obs really simple i'm gonna get right through this tutorial dude no fluff all right i'm just gonna go ahead and add a nice little video capture device that's gonna be my camera i'm gonna hit yep that's looking pretty good great so now i have my camera here and just to make things match up i'm gonna flip my camera now i flip my camera on the regular because uh i i like to look at myself like a mirror so when i hold my arm up it's like i'm mirroring into my computer all right I can, I can see myself and it's like i can look at it doesn't matter anyways that's besides the point what i want to do is i want to right click on my uh my my source here or i can just click on my source and hit filters so i'm going to click on a filter i'm going to add a filter we're going to call this an image mask slash blend okay add that thing boom just like that all right now what you're gonna need this next part is a shape i'm talking any shape so i'm gonna bring up uh google here so we need a shape i'm gonna type in black shape pumpkin i did this earlier just so i could Make sure I found something. Now, you know, it's Halloween coming up here. So let me find a shape that we're going to need. It doesn't matter what you end up finding. So I have this shape right here. You can see it's just an outline of a pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to open it up in a new image, uh, in a new tab. So now we have the full image here. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to hit save image as and we're going to type in uh, pumpkin.png. And I know it's not really a PNG. It, it wants to save it as a GIF, but whatever. We got the PNG now, all right? So we're going to click on this thing. And now that we have our PNG shape, I'm going to go ahead and go over here to my path. I'm going to hit browse. I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to click on shape. I hit up the shape. And now we have this image on screen, which looks kind of weird. If I come back over here, you can see it's not really working how I want. I was hoping to maybe mask out the, the background there. So what I actually want to do is I want to minimize this and go back into Chrome. And I'm going to go to a website called Pixlr. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this pumpkin and we're going to make a new full HD thing here. And so now that we have our, uh, our pumpkin open here, let me go ahead and shrink this down so you guys can see a little bit more. Uh, now that we have our pumpkin, I want to, I want to adjust this a little bit. I want this to be a solid shape in which I can cut myself out of my camera using a pumpkin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, cut. I'm going to hit the little magic cut here and we're going to go ahead and hit a uh, high tolerance. I'm going to hit cut and boom, just like that, it cuts out our little shape. But I'm going to do it a little bit nicer. I'm going to control uh, Z, go to light. And now it's going to add a little bit of a nice, you know, kind of like a blur right there. So anyways, that's looking pretty good. I need to crop this image. So I'm going to go crop out this bottom section here, crop it out like that, crop it out like that. And we're going to bring it in nice and tight. That's looking pretty good. And I'm going to hit enter. And so now I have a shape and I'm going to save this. So we're going to call this pumpkin.png, but we're going to call it pumpkin one since we already have a pumpkin on the... Um, yeah, we already have the pumpkin PNG right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And it's going to go ahead and download it to a folder. I'm going to take it out of there. I'm going to put it right on over here. So now we have ourselves a pumpkin image as well as the original. But we don't care about the original. We care about the new one because it's just a solid little image right there. So we're going to go back into OBS. And I'm going to go ahead and find that pumpkin image. And I think it's this one right here. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see it is cutting my face 
out of the image. That's pretty neat, right? Now, there's a couple other options you can choose from here. I have, uh, if I bring this little drop down menu, if I go ahead and click on alpha mask with this little alpha channel, now it's gonna cut out everything on the inside of that image. It's gonna look at the edge, the outer edge, and it's gonna cut me out. And now, now I am a pumpkin. You know what I mean? So, pretty cool. Or if I wanted to keep the lines, I could go to uh, image mask and just leave it as is. So I'm gonna add a, a display capture. I'm gonna display capture my other window here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, okay. And we're actually gonna select our other monitor. And uh, for some reason, it's Nyan Cat. That's okay. Uh, so we're gonna move that below our video channel. And now I'm gonna go back into my videos uh, filters here. If I come slide this on over to this side. So some of these options aren't working right off the bat and, and it takes a little while to figure it out. But if I go back over here to the alpha mask color channel, you're going to see I got Nyan Cat in the background and I could technically, you know, this could be my gameplay on the screen and whatnot. And then I could bring my cam down, maybe something like that. And now I'm, and now I am a pumpkin. I, I'm a pumpkin. Now, if I wasn't feeling that, I could also go over here and hit the alpha uh, mask alpha channel. And if I do that, it's going to get rid of those lines. And you can see it's already looking pretty good to, uh, to kind of run with what we have going here. This is good. I, I got a nice outline for my pumpkin. It's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm digging the setup and that's it. It's that simple, man. And I can do this with any shape I want. So if I come back over here and I go find another image, cartoon TV. And if I come down here to images, we're going to find a TV. All right. So I'm, I'm liking this TV right here. I'm going to go and drag this to my desktop. You can see it has that white later on. So we're going to go back into a pixeler here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this image and we're going to go ahead and add a brand new image and we're going to select our TV hit okay and you can see it's not really fitting so we're going to go ahead and crop this in something like that like that go ahead and hit enter and we'll zoom back in with the scroll wheel and if I come over here and I hit the uh the cut tool I'm going to go ahead and hit the magic cutout yet again we're going to leave the tolerance kind of high because you know it's all white it's one simple color and then a little light gradient on that so now when I zoom in you can see it has that little bit of blur so that's looking pretty good. I like the little TV. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. We're going to call this TV and we're going to go ahead and hit download. So now that we have it downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little arrow, show and folder. There it is. Drag it over here. We're going to go ahead and minimize that. Get on out of this thing and back up over here. We select the TV from our desktop. There it is. And just like that, we are now a TV. Hi, I'm a TV. And now I fit in the TV and that's looking, that's looking pretty good as long as I kind of short myself down here, but you can see that it's uh you know, if I do some different kind of styles here, it's kind of cool. It does a little different kind of look right there. If I go over here to uh, multiply, you can see it's doing some weird stuff right here, but it's kind of cool what's going on. And if I go over here to uh, addition, you can see uh, if, if I was back to a uh, full screen mode on this thing, uh, it's actually, it's putting that and, and putting a, uh, an, an additive sort of, um, thing to kind of blend it between me and the image and it's and it's adjusting my exposure a little bit and if i go to subtraction then you can see it's going to try to take what is there and subtract it and its color and what it represents out of the image but we're going to go back to uh alpha channel i'm liking how that's looking so i could just leave it like that and uh i'm thinking we just leave it back as is and maybe i shrink this down a little bit something like that and maybe i'm just a little tv in the side of the screen and that's looking pretty good and if i go ahead and full screen this thing full screen projector to the main screen and now this is my obs setup i'm looking pretty good that's it that's the whole tutorial i'm just here to teach you guys that you could do like weird stuff like that so go ahead and enjoy use this to your own devices or however you want to use it man i hope this helps you out simple video i i want to make these simple videos for some people that you know don't Maybe they have ideas, but they don't know how to get it done. Here's your idea. It's using the uh, the image masking, blending, and all that stuff. So it's it really simple, man. There's actually tools available to you in OBS as a filter that is uh, pretty powerful as it is. So go check it out, man. Nice and simple. Thank you guys for watching today. I'm so glad this is all buttery smooth now, man. Oh, that's nice. There's a little squeak in there. Oh, man. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, you can always catch me live on Twitch sometimes uh, throughout the week. I'm going to be changing up my schedule here in a minute, but... I, I don't know. Look for me and see if I'm online. Twitch.tv slash activator. That's activator with an E. I've gone over this. I, it's the internet. I can't get activated with an O. I had to go activate with an E, okay? Don't worry about it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.
Uh, if you guys could like the video and maybe even think about subbing, that would be cool. No pressure, man. It's all on you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye now.